because the dog does not deserve to be this smelly. No! Oh my god, I'm so glad we took those photos. Oh, the last thing she ever did was play with that sparkler. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Nightmare Legacy Challenge. This is episode 67, by the way. If you missed last week, a few things happened. Uh, number one, we got a new house. Uh, number two, we got pregnant. <laughs> so you might want to tune in to last episode to, to catch you up to speed, but don't worry if you miss it, it's fine. A lot happens in like every episode of this series. That's the problem with short lifespan. It all moves so fast. Other slight problems. Uh, Terry? Gonna die. Probably really soon. Hopefully she can make it like two more days. I, I don't have high hopes. And we just got this new dog. His name is Kevin, uh, and he's really small. <laughs> I'm really excited about it. And second trimester in eight hours. Okay, we probably actually will have the baby today in this episode, I think. But otherwise, for the most part, I think that my plans for today are to kind of grind through some work because now that we're starting a new generation, obviously we're level one in our career, like that's not gonna cut it. <laughs> like if we're gonna pay bills for this house, we're gonna need to move up a little bit. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, you're feeding them. I was gonna say, if you jump into that pond, I am not gonna be pleased with you. We are gonna have some big problems. Do you wanna play with them? It would be hilarious if she died in this pond. It's very unlikely that she'll die in this pond. I mean, like, the chances of her dying when you jump in are, are slim, and even more so, the chances of dying when you fall in, like, you have to first fall in and then also get unlucky enough to die. So she should be fine playing with the piranhas, but all I mean is it would be kind of funny if she died that way. Also, I doubt we're gonna get promoted again before she dies. I don't really want to let her retire, because I, I would like for her to, to go at least another day to work. <laughs> I would really appreciate it if, if she could just make me a little bit more money. What are you doing out here alone? Anyway, I'm dead serious though, I would really appreciate it if she could just get us a little bit more cash. She makes really good money. I'm, I'm kind of relying on it. We need her to help set us up a little bit more for the next generation. I'm really sorry. I know you're very old. You've worked very hard your whole life. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, it's not time for you to stop yet. I'm also kind of thinking that maybe it would be good for us to try and hang out with the dog a lot today, just because no one's home, like while everybody else is at work. It's probably for the best if somebody is nice to the dog. I'm really bad at taking care of my Sims pets. I think we all know this. Wait, it counted me kissing my dog as being in the romantic spirit? <laughs> you know, I went through a lot of emotions just then. I was like, oh, that's cute. And then I was like, no, that's kind of weird. I think the game just must like not distinguish between kiss. Like it just takes kiss as... Yeah, right. Interesting. Okay. Huh. <laughs> Um, well, that's interesting. That's really, really, really interesting. Maybe we should give some flowers to somebody. It said that I can buy them on my phone. Where's the purchase gift option? Career, households, purchase gifts, gardening. Maybe I'll give a daisy to somebody. Someone random. Let's do a, a good deed. A random act of kindness. Oh, or I can give it to my son. Oh, that would be so cute. That's good timing, actually, that he's here right now. Don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. Oh, that's really sweet, actually. Oh, she got an adoring sentiment for him. Oh. I love these Sims. It's really fun when you play with a Sims family for this long. Like, there's just something about it that's really special for me. Oh my god, the kids aged up. Look, Renee and Kenny are children. <gasps> that is new, right? That's new news? That wasn't that way last time? I hope not. Because I'm gonna be really sad if I somehow forgot. Kevin aged up! Oh my god. Okay, sorry I missed it, little guy. You were just over here the whole time. <laughs> I was right there. Well, now we can, like, take him for jogs and stuff. I probably shouldn't have Terry do that because she's an elder. We don't want her to die. If she dies of, like, overexertion, that's gonna be really bad. We can't be risking that. We need her to last, like, two more days. I just want her to meet her next grandkid. Oh, the other grandkid's called. That's so cute. Maybe I'll be a little mischievous to him just while I'm waiting. Dare to streak. Oh my god. You know, I didn't mean to click on that, but I might just let it happen. That's like really weird. That's real. No, that's really weird. That's not right. That's not. No, no. I'm sorry I did that. That I was just clicking on random mischief interactions and now look what we have to deal with. <laughs> Now look what I've done. You absolutely cannot make this your YouTube thumbnail. You will get demonetized. Don't look at it. That was a, a misclick. It was a mistake. I didn't intend to. Oh, Blake, while you're home, do you want to go browse some intelligence, actually? We need to work on our careers. <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, my friend, but you have some work to do. Browse the intelligence database. I kind of forget what skills you're gonna need too, but we could we could probably have Blake go work out or something as well. At least while we wait for, for Anna to get home from work, we may as well do something. And then they can go on a date. You know, I'm, I'm glad about this. Milton keeps calling me. It's kind of weird that my ex keeps calling me up like this and he, he keeps talking about my brother, but I, I am glad that Milton and Alex can be friends. I, it's, it's again kind of weird because he's he's called me like four times about this. But you know what? It's it's probably a good thing. Maybe it's for the best. How long do you have to do this for? You don't get off until seven? Oh no. That's actually really annoying. Well, they can go on a date at least after work. There'll be some time for that. You finished browsing the intelligence. I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm 
gonna go to the gym. You know, one of these days, I really should just like buckle down and redo this whole save. Like replace all of the lots, get a load more Sims. I might even stream that someday soon. Let me know if you'd wanna watch that. I don't know if that's like interesting or not, <laughs> cause I think that kind of thing is fun, but I, I honestly don't know if you would like that. So let, actually tell, what do you do? You stole my, I was about to use this one and then Vlad poofed into my spot. You are testing my patience. Anyway, I'm gonna work on this a little bit. I mean, they they do like fitness. They like cross-stitch fitness and knitting. <laughs> and they have the active trait, so we probably should make more of an effort to come here. Oh, nice work, Anna. Promoted to blogger. Thank you. That's what we're talking about. I may call up Anna, or maybe I'll send Anna a flirty text. Ew, look at how stinky Vlad is. That's horrible. I can't think of anything worse than a smelly vampire. Yikes. Okay, well, let's go to the gnome's arms. I don't care. We probably could have picked a prettier spot, but I'll just, I'll just go where the game wants me to. Sometimes it's nice to have it send me out places because I would never have chosen the gnome's arms. I won't lie that this is not my first pick. I kind of just like forget, <laughs> you know? This is a really nice bar. Arguably it's one of the nicer bars, nicest bars because it was made by like an actual simmer and, and not EA. But oh no, you gotta put on something cuter than this. You gotta put on something cuter than this. Also, I have an idea. Oops. You don't feel good. I'm sorry. It's the baby, isn't it? You can't get a good screenshot because of the sun. Anyway, I have an idea for these two because I don't think I want them to have a wedding. Like, I don't think I want to get married. I'm not into it. I think that their relationship is enough, you know? However, it might be kind of cute if like when they're elders or something, they decide to have a wedding. Now, this is partially because I wasn't going to have them ever get married. And then the Sims team was like, oops, what if we gave you a wedding pack? And then I was like, oh, maybe, maybe I do want to have them get married. But I'm pretty sure by the time the wedding pack comes out, these two will probably be older anyway. So it might be cute. It might be cute. You're here again, Vlad. Are you following me around? Why do you have to do the whole poofing thing? It's like really dramatic. You poofed from like here to here. I get it when you're trying to like pop out of the building or something, but when you're just going three feet, do you really have to make this whole big show of it? Okay, I'm gonna end them getting drinks because I would actually prefer it if I could do the like Love Day stuff. <laughs> That's more important to me. What are you doing up here? Okay. Well, let's just give Love Day gift. Baby onesie with ice cream cone. It's an unfinished knitting project. Maybe not that one. Just just kiss her. <laughs> it's fine. You know, this is not really the vibes. <laughs> the way there's just random people up here trying to have a little cute date, you know? But no, random people all over the place. Oh, this isn't gonna count as an actual date, is it? Oh, I didn't think about that. What was that noise? I wasn't paying attention. I'm scared. Well, should I like do the date thing really fast? What if I asked her on a date back home? <laughs> <laughs> Blake's like, hey, Anna, you want to go on a date to our house? Personally, I would way rather spend Valentine's Day that way. Uh, I'm with you. Get me out of here. It's crowded at the bar. I have no interest in this. I'm literally just here because I would like to get the the points. So you better be speedy though, because both of you are really tired and one of you has to pee like really bad. <laughs> okay, you're done. You're going inside to pee. Cool. Oh my gosh. Concept. What if tomorrow in game, we do like a little maternity shoot? It might be cute. I love those photos of Mavis that we have. Terry Bell's long life is coming to an end. Ah! Okay. We have to get some photos of Terry. <laughs> Terry and Anna together as well. Anna, do you have work tomorrow? You don't. Oh, Thank you. Oh, wow. Okay. Do you have work tomorrow? No, you don't. You do, but not until 6 p.m. Oh, this is great. This couldn't have gone better. All right, we can get our photos before anybody dies. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I needed. I'm just gonna end the date too. It doesn't need to be a good one. You two can both just go to bed. Oh my god. I forgot about the cars and the roof. Anyway, you two can just go to bed. We'll get some great pictures tomorrow. Everyone's gonna be happy. Everything's fine. Nice, peaceful, restful evening. How pregnant are you? Third trimester in eight hours. Okay, that's fine. You kind of need to pee <laughs> and kind of need to take a bath, but that's fine too. We're up at 4 a.m. We got a big photo shoot to get- Why did you take a bath first? I said click on the toilet first. Get out! Pee! You know, Sims really do make bad choices sometimes. <laughs> oh no, look at Blake too. Oh, I'm really sorry. You know how I was making fun of Vlad for being stinky? Cut to this. You went to bed like that? You got in the bed like that? <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. I always shower before bed. I, I like to shower at nighttime, but like I, I will not get in the bed if I haven't showered yet. Especially if I was like that. Like if I was covered in dirt. Come here. Take a shower. You got this. Who's calling? Alan Bell has passed away. Oh, not my alien. Oh. Oh, man. He was really close to my brother too. Alex and Alan were really close. That makes me feel sad. I feel like I didn't do a good enough job of, of being around him, but I guess consider how distantly related he was to us, we actually kind of did 
do a really good job of being around him. Like, look at this. Alan was Terry's cousin. Well, we spent more time with Alan than with Tabitha, probably, to be honest with you. So maybe, maybe we did do a good job. I don't know. <laughs> it depends how you look at it. Ew! Oh my god. Everyone stinks in this household today. Okay, that's fine. Terry, oh! Terry's gonna die! Terry's gonna die! Terry's gonna die! Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, this is not funny. This is not funny. This is not funny. Everyone, you're coming outside right now. We are taking photos right now. No joke. No joke. We're taking the photos immediately. Immediately. Terry, you smell too. I'm not even kidding. I'm cheating it. I don't care. I don't care. We need some like mother-daughter photos this instant. Come back. Come back. No, you have to take the photos. Please, please. Okay, bit odd that the dead cow plant's right there. It's kind of ruining the vibes. I won't lie. Maybe if it was just like sneaky in there a little bit. This is a nice photo. We can kind of try and embrace the dead cow plant for some of them. In this one, you can really tell that she's pregnant, which is kind of fun. Oh, I love that one. That's so cute. Okay, I'm feeling better. Maybe if we had a picture of like all of them together. Don't go inside. Come back. Why did you do that? As soon as Blake was going to be in the photo, everybody else went inside. This is not funny. Oh, actually, maybe if everyone takes the photo, come on, set up the timer. Does the take a picture with thing not work? This game is dumb. Why? 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 One more try. One more try. No? Okay. Wait for photographer. I can do a picture of them. Why are you standing so far apart? What is this? It's, <laughs> it's like the photo is exclusively of the cow plant or something. I mean, I kind of like that. What is that? Oh, oh, we are putting that on our wall. What is that? What are you doing? This is the worst set of photos I've ever had my Sims take. I'm not even kidding. What are you doing? What is that? Okay, no, we're we are definitely putting these on our wall. Wow. Can I get like a photo of just I'm sorry This is really bad, but I'm like can I get a photo of just Anna? I want like a pregnancy shot just so we have one You know what? I was gonna try and take some more but I actually think I'm really happy with those This is simply unbeatable that I can't think of anything better forget the mirror Let's hang this up in the bedroom. <laughs> Love that so much. Actually, I I will cherish that photo for many generations I'm not even kidding. It's it's the ones like that that we still think about to this day. Oh my gosh are those those the birth certificates from your <gasps> from your kids? I forgot we had those. Oh. Oh yeah, and I have these sparklers. Wait, that's kind of fun. Can you take a photo of her? <laughs> I want a picture of her with the sparkler. It's really cute. Take it. Take it. Take it. Oh. Just take a photo. Okay, that's not like as good of a photo as I thought it was gonna be. She looks so smug. No, that's really funny actually. Oh, now you smile. Oh, the dog's swimming. Do another one. Are they all different colors or are they all pink like that? Oh, they're all pink like that. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Um, this is kind of a fun photo, actually. Maybe we'll like that one in the future. I'm just trying to think of ways that we can get some more memories. I'll stop, though. I'll stop taking photos. I'm actually gonna have Blake come give a bath to the dog, because the dog does not deserve to be this smelly. No! Oh my god, I'm so glad we took those photos. Oh, the last thing she ever did was play with that sparkler. <sighs> <laughs> this is traumatic. This is actually traumatic. I'm really glad we took those photos. <laughs> oh no. I I thought she had more time. Oh, she's never going to meet her grandkids. Oh, this sucks. I'm sad. I'm actually really sad. What are you saying someone smells? Oh, that's a that's a good that's a good angle. Hang on. We can work with this. Yeah, you want to save that photo for sure. <laughs> Sorry, this isn't funny. This isn't funny. Their suffering is not funny. Meanwhile, Oh, the dog's just swimming, looking at- Stop. Maybe I'll get a picture of that too. Kevin's just there. Terry's laying on the floor dead. Kevin's just stinking up the pool. Can Kevin even get out of the pool? Oh, don't worry, he can. How about this one? The whole family's in it. The gang's all here. Wait, maybe I should try pleading. It might be too late. Try it. Oh, ooh, never mind. Well, this sucks. <laughs> I don't mean to be like, I don't mean to brush over it. Uh, that was our previous heir and she's dead. Well, she barely even needed the bedroom. Why'd I build her a whole new one? Oh, and she never went to work another day. Dang it. Could have gotten like thousands more simoleons. I'm sorry, that's not the real problem here. <laughs> the real problem is that Anna's mom is dead. <sighs> Wow, can I just say though, I am really, really glad that we took those photos. Your thumb is in that one? Oh, that's like one of my last photos of my- No way your thumb was in the way of all of them. Your thumb was in the way of all of the spark- No, you did not ruin all of the sparkler photos. Okay, we have one. But the one that Terry and Anna were in together, Blake ruined. That was Anna's last memory with her dead mom. I'm devastated. <laughs> I'm like seriously devastated. I I really sincerely hate this part of Legacies. I mean, it, it's the circle of life, right? That's what happens when you play with a Legacy for this long. They're all gonna die at some point, <laughs> but it still sucks. <sighs> 
Okay, well, I'm gonna go bring Terry's grave to the graveyard and then I'll bathe the dog. Don't worry. <laughs> I didn't forget. I was hoping she would make it past this episode. I didn't, I honestly didn't think she would die that soon in the recording. I mean, obviously it's hard to say, like you can't really predict these sorts of things, but I still was hoping we had more time. Okay, well, this is actually cute because she gets to be buried next to Chaz. The love of her life. I miss Terry so much. She was one of my favorite Sims I've ever played with. It's starting to hit me. I'm looking at this photo and I'm like, oh, this is really sad. Remember that day? Now what am I supposed to do? I'm all alone and the graveyard is so full. I think we should just go home. I don't want to look at this much longer. <laughs> I don't know if I can be there for much longer. And now the question is, when is Anna gonna go into labor? Because I I think she's in her third trimester now, but it probably won't be until tomorrow morning, right? Because I, I think that it happens like generally generally 24 hours after they go into the third trimester. Why is Grim Reaper still here? <laughs> I can't deal with you like this. I, I can't have you here. Oh, oh, Anna needs to read for work. Maybe I'll actually do that. Let's just spend some time working on career stuff. And I guess maybe you could bathe the dog and then maybe you could work on some knitting. They do have the, oh, we should actually, no, we really should because I want to finish the uh, the baby onesie knitting project because I want to have it before the baby gets here. That's really important to me. What, why will you not do it? Why won't you resume my knitting project? Yeah, you better finish it. This is important to me. I mean, what else is one to do on a day like today? right? You know what? I don't know who you are, but I really thank you for saying that. I heard about the passing of someone special to you. Thank you. I think you were standing at my front door yesterday. I saw you like right there. <laughs> you probably saw it. <laughs> you probably watched it happen. Anyway, I'm thinking like when my grandpa died, I spent the whole day playing Sims. So like knitting and reading is probably not that far-fetched. <laughs> it actually seems like probably a good way to spend the day. Maybe I'll order dinner, you know? We'll do something casual. What? You're still here? What makes you think that you can stay here? I mean, I guess the Grim Reaper probably thinks that he's like part of the family, you know? He's like, I've known you all for so long. <laughs> I've been watching over your family for like eight generations. He probably feels like attached to us. We're like some of his best customers. Not even kidding. <gasps> Yay, I finished the onesie. Okay, you need to go pee now. And then can you bathe the dog? Oh, the romance festival's in town. You know, I honestly, I can't think of anywhere that my Sims want to go less. Huh? Sorry. The ghost of my brother's dad, my mother's evil ex who cheated on her and got someone else pregnant while she was pregnant has invited me to the romance festival. There is a lot to unpack here, but I'm gonna say that again. My mother's evil ex and my brother's dad's ghost <laughs> is inviting my Sim, my pregnant Sim to the romance festival. No! And on the day that her mom died? You know, Fabian, I feel like he got better later in his life, but maybe that changed after he died. <laughs> Maybe he went back to his old ways. You're an outcast. Okay, the calls just keep coming in today. You're an outcast. Your dastardly deeds have alienated you from polite society, but we don't care about all that. We value results. You're a criminal at heart. I can see that in you, so I'll extend you an offer. Are you interested in joining the criminal career to make some serious simoleons as a minor crime lord? Rank five? Couple things again here. That's Blake's parent who says, Blake is an outcast. <laughs> I can't believe the call starts like that. Do you know what? I might accept the job offer. I don't want to be a criminal, but I might accept the job offer just for the money and then like straight quit right afterward. My bills are expensive. We need to be careful. I'm not even kidding. I'm just going to go straight back to the other one and back to the secret agent career. Blake, you might need to knit. Maybe if we made some more baby clothes, like just for fun. Which one did I make last? I don't even remember. I, oh, the ice cream cone one I made before. Let's do like a green and yellow striped one maybe. Oh, I'm really glad that I did this actually because now we have loads of money to decorate a nursery too. Uh oh. Oh, it's my niece. Okay, come here. Oh, and Tabby's calling. Oh, there's so much, so many people want things from me. I feel like I need to prioritize the niece over the aunt. I know it sucks. Tabby's now lost both of her sisters, but like, I don't know. I, I feel like, I feel like with this one, the niece whose grandma just died is maybe a little bit more important. I'm really sorry. I really am. Mock music. What do you mean mock music taste? She's a child. You've got issues. Oh, sentiment gained. You're so fun to be around. Closer from happy memories. Oh. <laughs> That makes me really happy. I'm not even kidding. Oh, cute, 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 cute. These are these like important family moments, you know? We're gonna remember that forever. What's wrong with the dog? What are you doing? Whatever, I'm gonna have to bathe the dog again in a second. Yeah, already dirty again. Super cool. I think the dog needs to potty. It's possible that's a pee puddle actually. Someone needs to potty train that dog. <laughs> I suppose that is kind of my job and my problem now that I think about it, but I'm busy. Uh-oh, okay, I can't bathe the dog. <laughs> No, no, you need to go to bed, Anna. I'm sorry. You need to, you really need to get your sleep. I'm not even kidding. That's dangerous. I don't think you should be passing out. Oh, Blake finished another one. You 
know, now that we have some more news about the pronoun update, obviously coming to The Sims 4 at some point soon, this is a good one to point out. Things like this, knitting project complete, look in Blake Finney's inventory to see her new creation. Blake is non-binary, their new creation, but the pronouns are like wrong because you can't set them. So much of The Sims is gendered and even like Nifty Knitting is kind of a recent pack. So like you would hope that that pack would have less gendered language in it. And yet here we are and I'm in labor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to the hospital. We're having a baby. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, it's a boy. Okay, 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 okay. I've got a name I wanna use. I think I wanna go for like a P theme with this generation's kids. So I think I'm gonna name this baby Peter and another one, <laughs> I think we're gonna name the girl Pepper. Mostly because I think Pepper Bell, like Bell Pepper is hilarious and I kind of want her to be the heir. Okay, I think it's happening. Yay, we have babies, we have babies. All right, well, I need to make them a nursery. I'm probably gonna have them share a room for now. I think it's just easier that way way, like at least when they're babies, because it's easier to care for them both when they're like next to each other, you know? And oftentimes I don't make babies nurseries until they're a little bit older, like until they're toddlers, because I don't really see a point in it, to be honest. <laughs> I wanna go for like a little green theme in here. This room is huge. <laughs> Maybe I'll decorate it like for toddlers and I'll just stick the bassinets in there. A lot of times when I have babies in The Sims, I do this because like, let's be real. They're gonna be babies for like one day. We're playing on short lifespan. It doesn't last very long. It's fine. Like, <laughs> I wish those windows were in a different spot. <laughs> I don't like them there. Oh well. I want it to be like centered so I can center the rug. It's fine. Okay. It's so funny how tiny the little beds are. <laughs> I love it so much. Much. We could even put the babies just in their bedroom for now. Like we could keep it in the parents room I don't even think that's like unreasonable either and we can wait until they're a little bit older to graduate to a bigger bedroom Can your sims still walk through there? Do they need a dollhouse that large? Probably not. Let's just size it down It does still function when it's sized down by the way a lot of people don't know that I think because like why would it function when it's sized down? But your sims don't actually like play in the dollhouse They just sit in front of it and play with the dollhouse So if you size it down, it still works just fine like you, there's no difference difference in animation at all. Useful tip because the dollhouse is enormous. It's kind of scary, <laughs> but you can actually put it in your houses more if it's a little bit smaller. So I like to do that. I might hang up some of the kids drawings. Obviously these kids did not make these drawings. These are from like Chelsea Bowen. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was so long ago. That's like gen three or something. Wow. Okay. I definitely kept those for a while. Maybe instead of a nightstand, I'll put a toy box. That would be so cute. Oh, let's do that. Let's do that. I want to use this thing but it's a little bit large. <laughs> I don't know if I can. I've got a dollhouse. I have a toy box. I've got a giraffe. I guess maybe I could leave the room kind of like this and I'll just put the baby's cribs right here. Oh, that'll work for now. We can always adjust it a little bit once they're older, but that's totally functional for now. And now the two of you are going to both care for these children, one each. <laughs> oh my gosh. And you know what? We have the onesies as well. <gasps> so I can put them in the onesies. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so, this is why knitting is the best skill to have in this game. Oh, are you already stinky? Don't be. Oh, look how cute. She looks so cute. Okay, here, you just use the bathroom and then go downstairs and go to sleep. I'm gonna have Blake dress the other baby in a onesie. Oh my God, there's a little fishy on it. I don't know if he likes it very much. <laughs> I tried to have Blake coo at him and I don't I don't think he liked it. <laughs> he started screaming. Okay, Blake, you can go to bed. I think, I think the kids will be okay. Just get like a couple screenshots. This might be the thumbnail, you never know. I'm so happy with these baby onesies. You have no idea. This is the best thing I've ever seen. I haven't really used them like at all, to be honest with you. This is my first time like actually making them, especially having twins and like dressing them up. It's so fun because you could like make them a different one for each day. I mean, that's more of a thing you would do if you were playing on like long lifespan or something and the baby was gonna be a baby for like six days, but there's a lot of potential there basically. So get up, time to change a diaper. Don't remove the onesie, change dirty diaper. Oh, it's prank day. Terry would have loved prank day. This is horrible. Okay, I think, <laughs> I think on that note, I might end the part right here. I'm really excited. I just, I'm so happy with this family. It's so cute. It's really fun for me to look at the family tree and like see how long it is. These babies are gen seven. I think I'm gonna have Blake and Anna have like four kids. Probably like two more pregnancies I think we'll do. We'll have one set of twins and then like <laughs> I am
am planning this. I know it's silly, but I think four kids will be fun. We'll have like a nice full house. So if you have any name suggestions, I'm taking them. Put them in the comments down below. I know Pepper is one that we've been talking about doing for like months. <laughs> so we finally have that one. And I think Pepper and Peter are kind of cute together. We can call him Pete. It's so cute. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you want to watch the Let's Play back, I'll have the playlist linked for you at the end. And with that being said, I'll catch you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Seriously though, the timing of us taking those photos in the morning, I am so glad we took them because if we didn't, Terry would have been gone. No memory of her. We cut it so close.